granted, I've been out of the comics game for a while, and I don't claim to be an expert when it comes to comics. But I'm not afraid to call something out when I see it. And while, you know, fans are rejecting woke garbage in movies and television, I'm talking about uh, Marvel Phase Boar. Uh, I'm talking about Rings of Power, just as a couple examples. And, and while over at Marvel Studios, a few weeks ago, Chris Gore put out there that Marvel has, you know, done a purge of the woke activists, the producers behind some of these projects within the Marvel Cinematic Universe. The same can't be said for the folks that run Marvel Comics. And, um, gotta say, I gotta call it as I see it. And this one here, folks, you're just gonna love. Marvel replaces Hawkeye with woke, non-binary Indian. Say what? Now, I know... Within the comics, you've got multiverses, you've got different universes. In fact, with Marvel, you have different Earths. And I get the fact that when you have these, these multiverses, these different Earths, you're going to have different versions of characters. But replacing Hawkeye with a woke non-binary Indian? Come on, man. Now, before I get into that, just want to give a, a shout out and a thanks to all of you that have subscribed to the channel. Um, the best way that you folks out there, if you're a returning viewer and you haven't done it yet, or if you're new here to my channel, is to give me a thumbs up, smash that like button, uh, hit that subscribe button. Those things tell YouTube that, hey, this dude's putting out some pretty good content. Let's get it out there to the masses. So it helps promote the channel. And the last thing you can do for me is leave a comment down below before you, before you leave. Well, I don't respond to comments because I don't have a lot of time. I do read all the comments and I do take that the comments as constructive criticism to help improve myself and improve the channel and improve the content that I'm putting out. So again, just real quick, give me a like subscribe and leave a comment before you go. Now on with the video. So. Here we go. Cosmic Book News, Matt McGloin. While fans are rejecting the woke garbage in movies and TV, the absolute bozos that run Marvel Comics continue to ruin the characters and content just as they have for the last 10 plus years. The latest is that Marvel Comics has replaced Hawkeye with the woke non-binary Indian character. Say, uh, why? Just, just why? Why are... I know what they're going to say. They're going to say it's because of representation. We need to, we need to have these people that are, that are non-binary feel seen so they can put themselves into the com comic. Um, no, all you're doing is you're pushing an agenda. And you're, it, who's buying the comics? Well, I'm, I'm not going to say kids are buying the comics, but probably mostly teenagers. I mean, when I was a teenager, I liked comics. I still have a few comics today back here on the shelf. But I don't, I don't support Marvel and DC with my money because of this stuff that they're, that they're doing to, to iconic characters like Hawkeye. Clint Barton is Hawkeye. Clint Barton just happens to be a white dude. So what? So the new character is Charlie Ramsey of the new Marvel Ultimate Universe. According to the direct, Charlie is non-binary and identifies as two-spirit. Okay, I got a question you can put in the comments down below, but what is two-spirit? I got no idea what that means. How it all went down is that apparently in this new universe, in Ultimates number five, a version of Reed Richards known as the Maker created a universe without superheroes. The site points out the Maker made sure Peter Parker wasn't bitten by a radioactive spider. So who's Spider-Man then? Just, just, just asking. 
because Peter Parker's Spider-Man. Miles Morales is Miles Morales. So the story goes, Tony Stark is forming a new team of heroes by recruiting would-be heroes, which includes Clint Barton, who we all know as Hawkeye. Already pointed that out. Well, Clint turns down Tony and throws his archery equipment into the garbage or something like that or something to that effect. So Tony goes out and recruits a new Hawkeye. And here we go. Charlie Ramsey. Who is of Indian descent and non-binary. Finds the archery equipment and magically becomes the new Hawkeye. Ta-da! I guess there's been a lot of talk for some reason about the gender of Charlie Ramsey. So the character's creator took to X. That when he researched the water protectors of Standing Rock, where apparently queerness is important to them, who serve as inspiration for the comic, or I should say the character. There's been a lot of questions about Charlie's gender, and I'm wary to talk about this stuff outside of the book itself. It feels a bit like cheating. But I know it means a lot to people, so I wanted to make a comment. When I did my research into the water protectors of Standing Rock, Something that was emphasized again and again was the importance of queer and two-spirit organizers to the movement. I wanted to put that into the book. So yes, Charlie's pronouns are they, them. Oh, great. We got pronouns too. Ah, oh, pronouns. Oh. I didn't want to make a big deal of it because it's not in the book itself and because I don't think Charlie would make a big deal out of it in that context. But we'll make this explicit when it's natural to the narrative. So again, we're gonna push the message. It's all about the message. As I tweeted and I blasted them, this is Matt Mugloin, all my Indian friends absolutely despise all this woke BS. That's not a surprise to me that they don't like the woke BS, such as a non-binary Indian with two spirits. I'm from Buffalo, where there are a lot of Indian people. The Senecas are big here with their casinos. They can't stand the non-binary pronoun woke nonsense. They also hate it when schools and sports teams remove Indian names and mascots. <clears throat> Washington Commanders, change your name back to Redskins. This really is Joker week. <laughs> Well, over on Breitbart, this is from Warner Todd Houston. Uh, he puts in here. Let's see here. Okay. The series writer, Dennis, spelled with a Z, Dennis Camp, took to his ex-account to sell the new character writing first appearance of our Hawkeye. We worked hard to make them cool, different, and yet undeniably Hawkeye. I hate to tell you, but this isn't Hawkeye. Camp also confirms that the new Hawkeye demands that people use woke pronouns as well as writing in, the, in a follow-up post. So yes, Charlie's pronouns are they, them. This isn't the first time Marvel used Hawkeye to push a radical gay agenda. In 2021's Disney Plus streaming series Hawkeye, producers gave a partial introduction to a little-used super named Bombshell during one of the episodes. Bombshell is an explosive ex expert named Wendy Conrad in the comic books, but was not said to be a lesbian when introduced in 1983. But that changed in the streaming series. The Wendy Conrad introduced on screen had one of Hawkeye's trick arrows to return to him. She placed the arrow in a bag, but when she went to hand it to Jeremy Renner's Hawkeye on screen, she tells him that her wife gave her the bag and that she wants Hawkeye to return it to her when he is done, thereby remaking the character into a lesbian. Now keep in mind, that's from most of the old regime at Marvel Studios, who I said at the beginning of the video, most of them have been pushed out, have been replaced, because Kevin Feige's realized that, hey, this shit ain't working. 
Marvel has spent an inordinate amount of time retconning characters to bow to the gay agenda over the last 20 years or so, and the movies and streaming series only ramped that up many times over. Just to name a few, in 2021, Marvel officially made the Thor character Loki a bisexual. The movie producers also introduced a gay character in its Eternals film, which flopped hard at the theater. And this year, Marvel streaming series Agatha All Along features a gay teenager as one of its main protagonists. Now, keep in mind, Agatha was also done before there's been a turnover at Marvel Studios. In fact, we have another couple shows, I believe. Um, Ironheart, which has been done for a number of years now, is yet to be released. I think it's going to come out in 2025. That was also done pre the, the, the rumored purge at Marvel Studios. So to wrap this up, to sum this up, Bob Iger has said that they're going to get away from the culture wars, that they're going to dial it back, that they're going to start putting out entertaining content and not focus on the message so much. Well, Bob, you control Marvel Comics. That's under your purview at Disney, if I remember correctly. And yet Marvel Comics is still pushing the message. And it's not a wonder why mainstream comics just aren't selling. I mean, if I was to go to into a, if I was to walk into a comic store now, I would go straight to the back issues and find back issues to read and not buy anything new. In fact, the comics I have right now um, are from Eric July and the Ripperverse. Um, I just got a shipment. Uh, from Cup, Cupus Comics, from Graham Nolan, which I have yet to open this box, uh, just the other day. Those are the comics that I'm interested in. From creators that are going to create an entertaining book of new, and introduce new characters that don't have an agenda. Those are the types of the things that I'm looking for. So what do you guys make of this? Again, comment down below. What do you think about this um, gender and race swap of Hawkeye in Marvel Comics? While you're at it again, please, if you would, take the time to smash the like button. Give me a thumbs up. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you like the things that I'm covering. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. And with that, I will see you guys later.